Here's your broth, honey. Oh, sweet. I shouldn't have ordered that. I couldn't eat a thing. Oh, come on now. I know you're nervous, but you had Tom and the truth on your side, and that's an unbeatable combination. So drink up. Not for me. For our baby. What was Doug like when you first met him? He was handsome. And he was charming. You know, Marsha told me a lot about him. So I know all about how his daddy had abused him and how his mama died when he was young. And, well, I sort of admired him for everything that he'd overcome. I hope to suck somebody who knew him back then. Honey, look at me. Don't you ever blame yourself for having loved him. There was a wonderful side to Douglas. And maybe it could have been salvaged if Marcia hadn't been so hell-bent on protecting him. She's still lying for him, trying to avenge his death by hurting Ian Kim. Yeah, I know, I know. I somehow thought that after Douglas was killed and you and Kim were rescued and that Marcia would go to jail and it would finally all be at an end. We all did, Elaine. Hi. You know, it's gonna be okay. Do you really believe that? I really believe that. And I want you to. Okay, pal. Okay, pal? <laughs> <laughs> Your son is quite a man. In spite of all the pain that he's feeling with Margo, he's certainly in there for me 100%. Then I don't know why that surprises me. Since he obviously gets that from his father. Mmm, I didn't realize I was married to a gourmet cook. Something that lasts seven hours and ten minutes can hardly be considered a marriage. Um, I see you're a bundle of nerves. Well, I assure you that as soon as you agree to an annulment, my nervous condition will disappear immediately. Well, maybe I should reconsider. I rather enjoy unnerving you. <laughs> okay. Say you buy Brian's Island and you build your ancestral castle on it. Just how much time do you plan on spending there? Why? Because I don't like the idea of your staying in Oakdale on any kind of permanent basis. Oh, it would never be permanent, Lassie. My home is in Bonnie, Scotland. Hello. Shannon, it's your Uncle Earl. Can you come to lunch immediately? Oh, I just finished a, a delicious lunch at the Snyder Farm. Well, come for coffee then. I'll put on some mocha java right away. Well, is Brian there? No, Duncan is. Oh, I see. Well, you just sit tight, my little bird. I'm on my way. Okay, hurry. So, what's for dessert? Oh, Emma, we just ate lunch. Now, what are you cooking well, now? Well, this is dinner. I'm going to be out in the fields all afternoon. It's Mmm, <laughs> oh, it's a heavenly smell. May I? Yes, it's, would you like to taste it? Well, yes, it's my mother's... Uh, my mother's recipe for a hot slaw. Mmm, that's delicious. <laughs> uh, now, what, what would you think of just a dash so of marrow? Much. I think like oh, Billy and I really I must, we've got to be tearing oh, ourselves away. No, 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 away. I think you like to be in the meadow and see the arbutus. Oh, no, darling, I do. Mm. No, I mean, I'm sure that's lovely. <laughs> and pastoral, but I'm not dressed. The trapes around in Mother, the you can take off your shoes and your stockings and you can walk barefoot. <laughs> oh, I'd love to get a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, if you want us to commune with nature, let's go. Oh, great, because I wanted to show Dusty that our beauty's pet. All right, I'll be <laughs> Look at her. Meg, Meg, where are you going? Let Lily go with Dusty. I, I, I need you to help me oh, wash dishes. Oh, Mama. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you so for welcome. a memorable thank life. Thank you for oh, your that. advice about the carrot. <laughs> are you going to... Do the Arbutus with us? Uh, no, can I have the driver drop me off and oh, bring the car back to you? Oh, of course you can. Why didn't I think of that? Thank you, Earl. Thank you for your support last night. No, Lately, there have been very few people no, near for me. No need when for I need them. thanks. No need for That's thanks. Right. I want to talk to you later. All right. Go goodbye. I've got to go. <sighs> goodbye. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> well, I think uh, Lily taking off like that really did Brock Lucinda. Well, it would any mother. I know, but it's always the same old story with her. I mean... As soon as it's over, she goes back to business as usual, 
Why don't you at least give the woman credit for trying? 